Today we are going to talk about alprazolam. Now the second I say zolam, you should be thinking about benzodiazepines, right? Uh, a lot of lorazepam, zolams, zepams, and zolams are going to be our benzodiazepines, okay? So as you hear that, you need to start remembering that these are going to be benzodiazepines, and there's going to be some commonalities between each of them. All right, so the trade name of alprazolam is Xanax. Now, surely you've heard of Xanax. Uh, a lot of people take it for anxiety, both in the hospital and out of the hospital. So some of the indications for this, like we just said, are anxiety, panic disorder, Manage symptoms of PMS, insomnia, mania, and psychosis, okay? So there's a, a lot of reasons why we would give this medication, but a lot of times what you'll see is we're going to be giving it for anxiety, and many times even you'll see patients who take uh, a little bit of Xanax right before they go to bed, okay? So just like half pill, quarter of a pill before going to bed. Now this would be like our pill form, a lot of times that we would give to patients who would otherwise be on like um, Ativan or something like that, so we can give them uh, alprazolam as the pill form. So what it does, it works in the CNS to produce anxiolytic effects, which also leads to CNS depression. So that's the biggest thing that I want you to keep in mind with all of these benzodiazepines is the CNS depression, okay? Therapeutic class is anti-anxiety agent, and like we've said previously, pharmacologic class is benzodiazepine. So the biggest thing as a nurse that you really need to keep in mind as you're giving uh, these benzodiazepines, alprazolam, is you need to keep in mind that it causes CNS depression. So if you have a patient who already has existing CNS depression, you want to ex uh, exercise a lot of caution, okay? Especially things like uh, uh, sleep apnea um, or a patient who has decreased respirations or a slowed heart rate already. It's We want to be very, very careful about giving them these benzodiazepines. Okay, so we're going to want to use caution with existing CNS depression, patients with renal dysfunction or hepatic dysfunction. Okay, so again, it can cause this CNS depression, can cause lethargy, it can cause drowsiness, and, and, it, and it may lead, and, it, and you, you know this probably already just from being a human, is that this can actually lead to physical dependence, okay? What will happen is a lot of patients can experience a tolerance effect, meaning that it takes more for them to get the experience that they used to have, that, that anti-anxiety experience that they used to get from it, it's going to take a higher dose. And so it can create this uh, physical dependence for these patients. And so we'll really want to monitor our patients that um, we try to prevent that from happening, okay? As we're giving this to our patients, we're going to want to assess their anxiety and their mental status, okay? We want to make sure that it's having the desired effect, and we're going to want to make sure that we're closely monitoring their CNS, okay? We're going to want to monitor their heart rate. We're going to want to monitor their uh, um, respirations and things like that. One thing that I really want you to keep in mind is that there is an antidote. So if, if a patient does experience an overdose, if they become very somnolent or very lethargic or their respirations drop... There is a medication called flumazenil. Uh, generic name is romazicon, and that is the antidote for overdose. So that's one thing that you really need to keep in mind because what will happen is it doesn't happen incredibly often, but patients may experience an overdose with this. Now, this might be caused by accident by the nurse that the patient is is has a dose for Ativan or for lorazepam or for um, Alprazolam, and this might be the first time that you've actually given it to the patient, so you don't know how they're going to respond to it. They may be doing very well, and you just give them their dose, and then they'll experience a very severe, very rapid uh, decrease in their CNS, okay? So what you'll need to do is you'll need to run and grab your Romazicon. A lot of nurses may not know this, okay? So if you can be that nurse on the floor that knows this and that uh, is aware that this is something that can happen, okay, that you're paying attention to the CNS and you are aware and you notice that the patient experiences this this uh, adverse effect, you can quickly run, grab that Romazicon, and you can reverse this and save this patient's life. Okay, I've seen this happen a couple times where the patient does experience these effects, okay, and they need to have this reversed very quickly. Uh, and Many times, you know, people don't know what to get, okay? But Romazicon is what we're going to get for this. So that's really kind of what we need to understand about uh, Alprazolam. The biggest things I want you to keep in mind again are CNS depression and then how to reverse it with this Romazicon. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 
30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.